Off the back of a disintegrated, advantage-gaining line-out catch-and-drive, Hardy plays a wide pass across to Halaholo, who attacks Russell, defending at 10. Not the ideal intended target, his opposite man, the defensive 12, Lang, as a result of the inside push from the Scottish forwards who have joined the defensive line with the move now being ran in open play, although still essentially being first phase. Hence the attack not ruling out any defender from contributing to the defence, thus not creating the initial additional attacker in the equation that the playoff 12 is designed to do. Realistically meaning that this move is now essentially just a narrow unders and overs shape. As the move progresses, Halaholo does an excellent job at taking the ball to the line, which, combined with the incredibly effective overs line of Watkin, legally tying in the defensive 12, Lang, prevents the defensive 12 from covering two players by swimming off from defending the overs line to sack the unders running 10, Sheedy. However, as a result of the failure of the initial play off 12 shape, causing this move to essentially be just a narrow unders and overs, the defensive 13, Harris, now has a free lane to move forward in an attempt to sack Sheedy behind the advantage line. Sheedy does not panic in the pocket as it gets flushed though. After initially holding his depth to give him more time and space, he takes the ball to the line very well engaging Harris and due to the additional attacker, Reese Zamet, on the shoulder ball, he has a free player to pass the ball onto. Again, highlighting the importance of the shoulder ball to create an additional attacker. You would then usually expect the attacking blindside wing on the shoulder ball to attack the space outside the defensive 13, tie in the defensive open side wing and give the pass onto the fullback, Williams in this case, on the long ball who would then go on to complete the two-on-one with the attacking open side wing, Tompkins, against the last man, Hogg, closing the gate from fullback. However, Reese Zamet demonstrates class beyond his try-scoring ability, not just attacking, but taking the space outside the offensive 13 and accelerating beyond Graham, whose defensive positioning is questionable, getting caught in no man's land between covering the long ball option of the fullback or the blindside wing hidden on the shoulder ball. I personally would expect him to follow Harris as he leaves the line in a domino effect and apply pressure onto the shoulder ball, but it's a difficult decision to make as Reese Samet remains incredibly well tucked and hidden on the shoulder ball. But more on that when we specifically look at defence and the details behind the shoulder ball individually. But you can see how important the widely positioned long ball option from the fullback is in creating this space for the shoulder ball by pulling the defensive open side wing away from his defensive counterpart and teammate, Harris in this case, creating the three on one with the same players rather than the two on one that you would usually see. Rhys Zamet then giving the pass to Williams, who finishes the try.